Hey everybody, Bob Snyder back at you. Driving down the road for our episode of Generally Speaking, and I was thinking about a great book I read with uh, of Malcolm Gladwell's. He's he's uh, certainly one of my favorite authors, and he's got some brilliant ideas about things. And he talks a lot about you know what it takes for mastery to take place in your life. The ten thousand hour principle, right? If uh, anyone spends ten thousand hours engaged in in the pursuit of of uh, a skill set or an ability or whatever it might be, they become a master in that area. That's all well and good, but what about hour number one, right? Hour number one. You know, we've got to be looking with optimism for hour one, hour two, hour three, hour four. If our, our goal is, or I should say our focus is just on getting them 10,000 hours in, then it may seem like such a daunting task that we're unwilling to do the work to start the journey. And I want you to understand that success is a journey. There's joy in the journey. So what you do is you've, you've got to find ways to enjoy what you need to do to, you know, kind of put you on that path to success. When I first started in, in the, uh, the business of networking and direct sales, I, I got to tell you, I wasn't any good. And uh, I certainly wasn't close to mastery. My first hour was horrific. My 10th hour wasn't much better. It wasn't until I got down the road a few weeks where I really started to develop a little better perspective and some skill sets that things started to improve. But I had to push myself forward through some of those uncomfortable times so that I could get to more of a, a happy place, if you will. And you'll find the same thing to be true for you. There were times I didn't want to make phone calls. There were times I didn't want to contact and invite. There were times where I just was feeling way off in the day. But I had to get out of bed in the morning. I had to stand up and look myself in the mirror and say, man, I am not going to let this thought process defeat me. I'm going to buckle down and make it happen. And then what I would do is, is that I would force myself back into uh, my office and, and put the headset on. And what I found is that inside of you know, a few minutes talking to somebody or maybe two or three phone calls into my day, I was back in the rhythm, back in the flow and enjoying the process and learning as I, as I would go along. You do not have to become a master before you can start to create success and drive results. Mastery is something that happens as a result of all of that time you spend, <laughs> you know, perfecting your skill sets and your ideas. If you're a perfectionist, this idea is going to just go against the grain. It is. And if you're a perfectionist, sometimes you think you can't do something until you've mastered it. You can't master it unless you do it. Um, so a little bit of an oxymoron there, you know. It's kind of like uh, trying to get the cart before the horse. It doesn't work if you're trying to, to push uh, a heavy obstacle as much as uh, you might get leverage out of pulling. So, Mastery only comes from doing. Doing comes from making a commitment and then following through with the commitment to yourself. Now, the commitments that you make, well, they don't have to be huge at first. We ask people all the time, be smart about this business. While you're developing the belief, the conviction, the confidence, the competency, and the skill sets, take it on on a part-time basis. That way you can learn as you go and learn as you grow. A little play on words there. Because this business is all about the process of becoming. If you want to be a master, that's a great goal. But don't think you got to be a master before you can start making money. You will do and then you will earn and then you will achieve. And then over time, mastery will come. But don't put one before the other. You're going to be disappointed with the outcome.